Portrait of a Frightened Man, Mr. Robert Wilson, 37, Husband, Father, Window Washer and XJW on sick leave. Mr. Wilson has just been discharged from a sanitarium where he spent the last six months recovering from a nervous breakdown induced by leaving the cult. The onset of which took place on an evening not dissimilar to this one, on an airliner very much like the one in which Mr. Wilson is about to be flown home. The difference being that, on that evening half a year ago, Mr. Wilson's flight was terminated by the onslaught of his mental breakdown. Tonight, he's traveling all the way to his appointed destination, which, contrary to Mr. Wilson's plan, happens to be, in the darkest corner of the JW Twilight Zone. Are you sure you are okay to fly, dear? I'm fine, sweetheart. I'm totally over my JW-induced nervous breakdown. That's great, dear. Well, it looks like it's time to board. We better get on board. How are you doing, dear? Fine. Fine. No worries. I'm going to have a tinkle and vape in the bathroom. I might be a while. Take your time. Stewardess, there's something on the wing. Some. Thing. It's JW.Borg. It's out there. What? Look, he's staring right at me. I'm sorry. It was right there. It's okay. Can I get you anything? A glass of water and an aspirin. I guess I need a little sleep. Are you feeling any better? Yeah. I just won't look out the window. Okay, I'm going to take a nap. Okay. Oh crap. I feel the urge to look out the window. Jumping Jehoshaphat. It's out there again. Don't look. It's not there now. It jumps away whenever anyone might see it. Except me. I'm telling you that JW.Borg is out there. Honey, there is nothing there. I realize what this sounds like. Do I look insane? No, darling. No. I know I had a mental breakdown after getting DF. I know it looks to you like the same thing happening again, but it isn't. I'm telling you it's real. If I described it to you, you would think I'm crazy. No, darling. It's all right. It's all right. I know you love me, and sympathize with me, but don't patronize me. I'm not insane. I didn't say anything. You didn't have to. It's in your face. The reason I'm telling you is because it's starting to tamper with one of the engines. All I'm asking you is to tell one of the pilots what I said. Okay, you just sit tight. I'll go tell him. What's going on? JW.Borg is pulling up one of the cowling planes. Nothing is out there, sir. I know it's not out there now. It comes and goes. Don't you realize that JW.Borg is a menacing beast? It destroys families and people by means of the blood issue, shunning and pedophile protection. And now it's trying to destroy all of our lives. Even though I'm out, this organization is still making me crazy. I'm sorry, sir. Why don't you just forget about it? I have to go fly the plane now. I'm feeling better now. But could you get me a glass of water? Sure, dear. I'll be right back. Haha! -ha. Ugh! I hate you! Loser. I'm not afraid of you anymore. You should be. I will destroy your life. You are worthless apostate scum. Go away! Ugh. Ugh.
It's all right now, darling. I know. But I'm the only one who does know. At least right now. <laughs> the flight of Mr. Robert Wilson has ended now. A flight not only from point A to point B, but also from the fear of recurring mental breakdown. Mr. Wilson has that fear no longer. Though, for the moment, he is, as he has said, alone in this assurance. Happily, his conviction will not remain isolated too much longer, for happily, tangible manifestation is very often left as evidence of trespass, even from so intangible a quarter as the JW Twilight Zone. <laughs>